Well, fuck this. place right here Obviously, I'm not going to go in through here if I can go in through there. How stupid can you be? Thank you. Nobody got hurt. Bet it crossed your mind. I'm glad you had restraint.
easy. So, you made it. Guess Ryujin security really is slipping. Hmm. It surprises me that anyone ha uh, that someone hasn't already taken them down. No one will ever take down Ryujin. It's a credit cash for Bayu. If anyone wanted to take down Ryujin, it'd take more money than anyone's willing to pay. Otherwise, Bayu would never allow it. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. You better give us the mole's identity after all that work. If not, I don't know. Hey, that's a fine setup you've got there. Holy moly, Nix. Nice. The program I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption. This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. Don't give me a suspense, share that knowledge. Since you came through on your end, Let's just say that slate isn't going to paint the best picture for Ms. Imogene Salzo. But bear in mind, you're dealing with some pretty talented people when it comes to falsifying information. How can you be sure this information is accurate? I can be sure because I know my business. But like anything, evidence alone can't tell the full story. The rest is up to you and Dalton to piece together. Hmm. I, it doesn't sound like something Imogen would do. Don't be too sure about that. Imogen was practically raised in the corporate underworld. I'd almost guarantee there's intent behind everything she does. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. All right, then. Lawgiver?
Yeah, double damage to targets full health would have been better. I don't need it. Doors over that way. I assume you were successful. I didn't get any incident reports last night, so I applaud your work. Hmm. I got the files, but Nix violated the agreement and saw what they contained. I figured as much. Lucky for us, he doesn't have any motive to use this information against us. Now, let's see what we have here. Hmm. I didn't think it was possible. But someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. Hmm. What motive could she have? Well, the motive could be anything. Credits, grudges, even boredom. Someone must be paying her a lot of credits to go against Ryujin like this. Either that, or well, she's highly displeased with someone at the company. Uh, the evidence seems too clean, too obvious. Maybe I read her wrong, though. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. What if she runs? If she runs, the guilt will be apparent. And you'll have no choice but to dispose of her. As much as I'd like you to subdue her and bring her in, Imogene would never allow it. She knows what fate lies ahead for those who betray this corporation and get caught. You don't want to go get her yourself? I just want to avoid a scene. Sending you keeps the rumor mill at bay. I'll keep a close eye on her. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Oh, he gave me a lying uh, thing. Okay. Guilty parties. I like Imogen though. Man. Oh no. I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. Like how you avoided the interview process? There are work skills and there are life skills. I can't help it if I have both. When you last see Imogen? She hasn't stepped into the office since the maintenance closure, probably abusing her paid time off again. I know for a fact she doesn't have any external meetings or business trips. I need you to use your resource and tell me where Imogen is. 
I'm not even sure that's any business of yours, but I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? It's confidential. Take it up with Dalton. Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Oh good. At least I can pick up some snacks from Frankie's Grab and Go. Because I'm gonna need more energy to run around and do Dalton's bidding. Uh, Frankie, Garmin goes up front for Siyuga Syndicate. Is there an echo in the room? Yeah, Frankie's is a front. Crap convenience store on the outside, high tech hideout on the inside. Of course, the only people that really know that are Ryujin, Bayou, and the Syndicate itself. What do you think she's doing at the Syndicate? Your guess is as good as mine. But she's up to something. I could tell she was trying to cover her tracks, but this is my job. And there's a reason I'm in charge of the technicians here. Let me guess, this is how it involved Benjamin Bayou? I forgot you're familiar with Neon and Bayou's intricate web of connections. I suppose if you want to be efficient, you could bypass Dalton and go straight to Bayou. You're just cutting out the middleman, right? Word of advice. If you're planning on forgoing authorization and just tiptoeing your way to Imogene, Park your friend at the door. Two's a crowd if you're trying to lay low. Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. Talk to Benjamin Bayou. I don't want to do that. I don't want to tip him off. Can I help you? See you around. A key card, huh? This isn't going to last long. Yeah. Screw this! Suppress them shots now! What, you consider stealing? That's not way. Is everything considered stealing? It is.
gonna be. <sighs> well, they don't need it now. Huh? True. Let's finish this. A crime lord? I guess that was all. Easy oh fight. God. <laughs> I mean, we are at beyond right now. A blast? Am I resistant to those? The stun damage seems pretty good. Shit! I didn't join up for this!
eh? I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. How do you even know about the investigation? You stay in this business long enough, you get enough favors and connections that can help you see anything coming. Nix owed me a favor and gave me the heads up. What the hell is going on? Are you really working with Infinity? Yes, and no, but mostly no. Just hear me out, okay? You got some explaining to do. I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. You think Ularo did this? Of course. But first you have to understand. She used me to play an unwitting part in this. So I'm the one that takes the fall. That's why I said it'd be impossible for me to intentionally pull this off. How can I believe you... I'm not the one with motive here. First, I'm not about to reboot my life. Second, I'm not spending the rest of my life looking over my shoulder for the next field op they'd send after me. I won't let Ularo win. If you got evidence, I'll deliver it. You're trusting me on this one. Huh. Not to cast doubt on myself, but I fully expected to push my persuasion skills to the limit. Ryujin embody corporate corruption. Ularo makes perfect sense. I can see Genevieve and Alexis cringing over those words. If you live in Neon long enough, it's not a surprise you'd start to see the darker side. This slate holds the evidence to prove my innocence. I just need you to make sure Dalton sees it. Just remember, you owe me big for this. I won't forget it. And I have a feeling you wouldn't let me anyway. I'm going to stay here and lay low until I know where Dalton and Masako stand. In the meantime, I know you don't hear it too often, but thank you. This is complicated now, but you did right by letting her live. Dalton better clear his schedule. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. Yeah? And... Ularu set me up. And Project Dominion... You're trusting me up. I can see Genevieve. If you live in the... This slate holds... The I won't forget it. I'm going to stay here and live. In the meantime... Don't mind me going to the back room. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Please. I can't believe we got a legendary knife out of that. I'm proficient with every gun in the game, and I got a knife. Ugh. A freaking kniff. You believe that? You need to move some merch. Then here I thought you were just wasting. That persuasion chance is pretty good, though. Yeah, we don't need more damage. Damage is good.
Yeah, Michigan's robots. You done here? Time to move on. <laughs> Those, I've got more than you. Damage against robots is pretty good, though. Let me, uh... Always keep plenty of ammo. It's better than nothing, right? When stock two, yeah? What do you want? Help yourself. All right. Get out of here. I should have sold it there first. Hey there, friend. If you're looking for supplies, this is no problem. Oh, you won't buy stolen supplies either? Watch your back out there. Ugh. I either show it to Dalton first or confront Ulajin first. Well, look who's back. Dalton's gonna lose it when he finds out you went to the syndicate without talking to him. I took the initiative. Dalton, we should be grateful. I guess we'll see, won't we? And you didn't even have the sense to speak to Bayou. I don't need that man's permission to do anything. Apparently not. But that doesn't mean you won't see any consequences. So tell me, what did you find out? What's the information worth to you? <laughs> if you think I'm paying for that information, think again. It's just a matter of time before it finds its way onto my desk. And I can be a very patient person. You didn't have anyone spying on me to find out yourself. Inside the Syndicate? That area is off limits, and I think we both know why. Imogene knew exactly what she was doing when she went there. You'll have to ask Dalton after my report. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. Do a quick save here. And we'll talk to Imogen first. I mean, uh, Valara first. Is there something I can help you with? I'm here to give you a chance to come clean before I tell Dalton you're the mole. <laughs> Excuse me? Let me close this door before you say anything else you might regret. Just a moment. Shutting the door and engaging locks. That's better. And that's quite the story you just threw in my face. Not to mention a serious accusation. And just where is this absurd notion coming from? Are we really going to play this game? Just admit you're the mole. Is this a game? I wasn't aware. If you confess, I can convince Dalton to go easy on you. Dalton? <laughs> you obviously don't know him at all. Come on. It's just an elaborate plot. Aren't you dying to let someone in on it? It is a horrible thing when such well-made plans can't be shared. Typical Looks villain. like someone's been brushing up on their corporate skills. Fine. 
Since it's just you and me here, I'll come clean. I leaked Project Dominion to Infinity LTD, but I'm no mole. If not a mole, what are you? Double agent? Please. It's insulting that you think I'd actually be working for someone other than Ryujin or myself. Hmm. I knew only someone at top could leak Project Dominion. With the amount of secrecy and security surrounding that project, I'm happy to report that's true. You see, I'm not a mole. I'm an opportunist. And no one is more loyal to Ryujin than I am. Masako, on the other hand, is losing her touch. Ryujin needs strong leadership for what lies ahead. A CEO who can make the hard decisions. You're so loyal, actually. If this is all Masako, why frame Imogen? It was never my intent to involve Imogen. But when you arrived with information on Project Dominion, I knew Infinity had screwed up. I had no choice but to act fast. Imogen is the only one that Dalton and the others would believe was capable of pulling this off. It had to be her. If you're so loyal, why do you leak the project? It's all part of my plan. But don't worry. Infinity LTD will never be able to complete Vina's work. I made sure of that. What do you mean by the hard decisions? What do you think? If someone was a threat to your family, would you be satisfied waiting for them to strike? Of course not. You'd eliminate the threat before it had a chance to act. In some cases, before it even realized what it was capable of. I suppose Masako's losing her touch if she doesn't realize you're the traitor. Oh, I'm no traitor to Ryujin. I'm the one that's going to keep this company on top for decades to come. So, now that you know, it's time to see how good you are at making hard decisions. With your help, I can take down Masako and make the credits worth your while. So whose side are you on? Masako's or Ryujin's? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick to Masako. I don't like her. Well, it seems we're at an impasse now. I don't suppose I could convince you to stop what you're doing. The only way you stop me from carrying out my plans to depose Masako is to kill me. You could try to get me fired, but that only delays my plans. Face it, this isn't a game you can win. I'm handing you over to Dalton. Go ahead. I guarantee any evidence you have is circumstantial at best. I've created the perfect scapegoat in Imogene. It'd be your word against mine, and I'm pretty sure the odds are in my favor. You already screwed up once. I'll get the evidence I need. I admit, I misjudged Infinity LTD's level of competency. If only I'd have gone to see Simon myself, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But I've learned from that mistake. So good luck. You won't find a thing. I'm okay with that conversation. Let's save. So, you're finally back, with no sign of Imogene. And here I thought sending you after her would be a simple task. 
Uh, Ularo Pelli, you are. Imogen is innocent. I suppose you suddenly have all the facts now. This explanation better be good. I have a mind to fire you just for that comment. Um, good news is, I have this. Oh, this image, uh, this can prove Imogen's innocent and Ularo herself confessed. This would be enough for any court. There's not much room for alternate possibilities here. I find it hard to believe Ularu would take the chance to incriminate herself. But if this slate provides indisputable evidence to corroborate your story, well, that's enough proof for me. It will be a relief to reinstate Imogene as well. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Can you tell me anything about Vina? Vina's the head of our research and development team. She's the creator of Project Dominion, and often considered the protege of Ray de Karis, Ryujin's founder. How do I get you to Vina's office in R&D? Just take the elevator down to research and development. You'll find Dr. Kara's office to your left as you enter the floor. Any idea what Masako wants? Masako's been focusing on how to deal with Infinity LTD and their knowledge of Project Dominion. I believe her plans rely heavily on you. Good, I'll let you deal with all this mole business. <laughs> Not that I enjoy it. But I wouldn't trust anyone but myself with these reports as it is. That's shit. I keep using the <laughs> the drugs, but this is not doing it. God damn it. Hey, so I'm really enjoying our time together. Thought you should know. It's been a long time since I worked with someone so closely. I didn't realize how much I missed it. And you haven't stopped me from looking into this stuff with Irvin either. So, thank you. Why would I stop you? Well, there's a school of thought that you shouldn't go chasing ghosts. And they're probably right. Ghosts are spooky. But maybe this isn't that kind of chase. And Irvin's case is far from dead. If it matters to you, it matters to me. See, that's what makes you a good captain in my book. You're supportive. On that note, I do have some news about Irvin's case. So, I wanted to let you know that I heard back from my contact. And I think you'll want to hear this. They sent me a copy of some public records. It's interesting. There was a claim filed against Irvin, accusing him of damaging their investments. Looks like Irvin didn't even enter a plea. What was the settlement? Some of Irvin's paychecks were seized, as well as any assets that weren't under joint ownership. Who brought the case course? The Hephaestus Mining Corporation. And they also won the case. I don't understand how he could be guilty of that. Well, if it was Irvin, I do want to understand that. Because I just can't believe it. Anyway, this mining corporation, Hephaestus, sued Irvin, claiming he irreparably damaged their mine. They said he killed the apex predators in the area around the mine, which led to herd creatures overeating the grasses. That caused the soils to release too many gases too fast, which cost Hephaestus a ton of money. Killing Apex Predator led to all that? They claim the creature he killed was a critical hive species that caused a cascade effect when they were killed off. Irvin killed the equivalent of a queen bee, and the whole hive collapsed, basically. It's unlikely that disrupting the ecosystem would affect gas extraction so quickly. Thank you. So, is this a cover-up? If so, of what? And why did it involve Irvin? So anyway, 
According to the court documents, there was a witness for the defense who was a no-show too. Then Hephaestus won by default. They tried to take his apartment, but because it's in my name too, they couldn't. Is your contract still available to work? Yes. We plan to stay in the same system for a while. Why didn't the witness show up? They withdrew their testimony the morning of the trial. Said they had a sincere change of heart. Did you know about the apartment before this? I didn't know he bought it. Must have been a better deal than renting for the time he was there. Sounds like the case is closed. That doesn't mean we can't do anything about it. And if nothing else, I just want to know more about what happened to Irvin. So here's what I was thinking. I can persuade my contact to keep digging a little bit more. I don't want to press our luck, so I'll just ask them to follow up on one thing. Should I tell them to investigate the company more or look into the witness instead? What can we find out by investigating the company? I just want to know why they picked Irvin. Why did they set him up? What about the witness? I wonder what his real reason was for retracting his testimony. Did he report anything to security? Eh. Do both. Here's some money. For that much money? <laughs> They'll do it. You know, this investigation is time consuming, but it's also pretty cathartic. And who knows? Maybe if we solve this case, it'll mean a better future for Gagarin. But that's thinking too far ahead. Anyway, Captain, thanks for checking in with me. You are welcome, Barrett. Let's go to R&D. I think this conversation will be the last thing I do today. It's pretty late. I need that Rothesite if we want to complete the NeuroAmp. I'm just concerned the entire station was wiped out by something. Don't worry, we'll figure it out and get that shipment back. Good, you're here. It's time to put a plan in motion to take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. Point me in the right direction. I'm ready to do whatever is needed. In due time. We don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAmp schematics. So, our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, Head of Research and Development. She'll give you the initial details. Yes, details. You see, the internal NeuroAmp is supposed to consist of two parts. The first part, the part Infinity stole, handles the manipulative effects. The second part is a shielding modification designed to protect the user against other NeuroAmp users. How can you be sure the mole didn't steal information on the shielding mod? Well, we can't, but the shielding aspect was never officially a part of Project Dominion. It was an afterthought of how to safeguard our own people from being manipulated, so it was being researched separately as a mod. The research itself was in early stages, too early for board approval, so only myself, Demarcus, and Masako know about it. Hmm. Keeping the shielding mod to ourselves would be a huge advantage. Big time. We'd be the only ones unaffected. No one wants their greatest asset used against them. Once Vina can complete the internal neuroamp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. Cool. See, this is why I never went into business. I like my brain the way it is. Shut up, Barrett. You're trusting me with this technology? You're a Ryujin employee and we need a job done. We've trusted you this far, so I feel it's safe to continue the trend. You just assume I'm willing to be your guinea pig for this? We expect our employees to do whatever it takes to ensure Ryujin's success. Consider this an opportunity, not a risk. Besides, you're in good hands with Vina. Okay. It's about time I got to try out this new tech. Good. 
I'm glad you see this as an opportunity. And I love a willing subject. Now it's just a matter of getting the key ingredient. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I've finally created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called rothesite. Which is where I come in. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to gather, refine, and ship the rothesite straight to us. Their last shipment is late, and neither we nor Consolidated Mining have had any communication with the Karenay station. Hmm. Let me guess, it's unlikely this is a communication issue. Correct. The updates have been regular up until now. Last we heard, the shipment was ahead of schedule. We need you to head out there, secure the shipment, and bring it back here so Vina can complete her prototype. And I want to know what happened. We need to take any safety measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. Are you expecting me to run into a lot of resistance? Unfortunately, yes. So be prepared. Extensive tests and research were done on the planet, so the chances that this is environmental are slim. And setting up a station like this is second nature for consolidated mining, with plenty of redundancies in place to handle mechanical failures. Hmm. If someone's interfering, I'll make sure they're dealt with along the way. Good. Feel free to deal with any resistance however you see fit. The mining station is CM Station RC-1. It's on a moon called Karen A-3A in the Karen A system. The shipment should be in the research and control tower, but the outside doors are kept locked down. This keycard will let you enter the mines so you can access the tower from the inside. Good luck. Let's hope for the best. So... Uh, what can you tell me about Consolidated Mining? Consolidated Mining is one of the oldest and most trusted mining companies in the Settled Systems. As their name may suggest, they were created when several smaller companies came together in order to compete with the dominating names at the time, like Argos. They grew their business on dependability and service, and still retain those qualities today. Can't Yuko technicians just figure out what's happening there? Of course, but our technicians don't have the skills that our operatives do. We like to keep them limited to populated areas, not lone mining stations. Okay. Karen A3A is so out of the way. If the chances of mercenaries what or do you pirates think is discovering at the it on I'm positive it's mercenaries of some sort. Crimson Fleet, Ecliptic, maybe even Spacers. Just be prepared. Ammo, med packs, whatever it takes. Whoever's there isn't going to be known for subtlety. Well, it's Crimson Fleet. That's going to be easy. Because, you know, they won't attack me. Uh, is there anything I should know? The main area you're looking for is a research and control tower. It's the tallest section of the station, so you can't miss it. But, like I said, it's locked down pretty tight from the outside. That key card will get you into the mine through the lower barracks, where you can take an elevator up to reach the tower. What do you do here? I'm the supply chain manager in operations, so all these computers and equipment... Okay, cool. It's certainly not as... Come by whenever. I'm always happy to chat. I hate to think about what might have happened on the station. So this is where the neuroamps are made? Designed and developed right here. Remarkable, aren't they? I wish I could have been Ray DeCaris the day she first perfected the technology. She laid the groundwork that DeMarcus and I base all of our current designs on. Oh, DeMarcus is my chief engineer, by the way. He's the only person here who can keep up with me. But don't let him know that. It'll go straight to his head. Mm. Who's Ray? Don't tell me you don't know the name of Ryujin's founder. Ray DeCaris created Ryujin Industries with Itaru Saito back in 2307. She developed the very first Neuroamp just a few years later, laying the foundation for this corporation. I had the honor of working under her a few short years before she retired and entrusted me with R&D. Are you in charge here? That's right. I'm Dr. Vina Kalra, Head of Research and Development. I oversee everything that goes on around here from neuroamp development to weapon testing. Do me a favor and watch your step out there on the floor, okay? DeMarcus and the engineers work with a lot of dangerous equipment and chemicals. 
And as much as I'd love to test some of our experimental tech on human subjects, that requires special approvals. So you're the one behind the Project Dominion? The one and only. It was one of the first projects I proposed as head of research and development, so Project Dominion is like my baby. Funny story. The concept started off as a joke DeMarcus made, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized that this was just the challenge I was looking for. What would the procedure to the implants, uh, the neuroamp be like? For you, it'll be like going into a deep, relaxing sleep, and then waking up feeling refreshed and invigorated. For me, it'll be a few hours of laser-focused skill. I like to think of neurosurgery as an art form. Honestly, it's going to be fine. Zero downtime, no projected side effects. You're gonna love it. Anything I can you can tell me about the Ross site? It's a very rare element that appears to be unique to the moon Karen A3A. With the right purity in combination with other metals, the alloy is completely compatible with an amazing level of conductivity and no degradation. It's basically the ace of our sleeve for neuroamps. Bye. Okay. What the? Let's go. We'll prep for tomorrow. We'll just fly here and land. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is gonna be it for today. Um, it is close to midnight, and I gotta go. So, we will continue this tomorrow. Not load. I want to save. And we'll finish up Ryujin's storyline probably tomorrow. I don't see how we cannot, and then we'll finish up the other quests too. With that said, I'll wish you guys a good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.